Hey everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You, and we've got another Photoshop tutorial for you today. This one's about how you can use the 3D features in Photoshop CS5 Extended. You need the extended version of Photoshop to use these because it's got um, extra features and um, things like that. It's got extra um, things you can do with it. And so I'm going to show you today how you can transform just a uh, an object like the rounded rectangle to 3D and how you can transform text to 3D. So let's start off with the text. So select your text layer and come under 3D and um, this one down here, this French word starts with an R. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's, uh, you go into there and select text layer. It'll be the only one highlighted because Photoshop knows it's a text layer so it's only going to let you do that. Attention. And now this box is going to pop up now asking you if you really want to do this. Click yes, but make sure you have all your effects applied first. If you don't, get out of this and just press cancel and apply all the effects you want to. Alright, so here we have the 3D text now. You can rotate it all around. And inside this box right here, you've got all these different text uh, 3D styles you can apply to it. All these shape presets, as they call it. You can, and in this box, you can change the depth of it. You can do a lot of cool stuff in here to um, make your 3D look pretty cool. You can also change the material of it. And you've got a couple ones in here, but to get to the good ones, press this little arrow right here, and a drop down menu will come out. And so I'll go under fabrics, and choose some of these. Now you've got some pretty cool um, text or uh, materials you can place over it. Alright, so that's how you can do 3D text. And it's pretty much the same for a um, shape if you want to do that. So select your shape layer and come under 3D and select layer mask. So it'll transform that layer mask into a 3D uh, shape. So now it's got that there. So we'll set it up there. And once again you've got lots of different text uh, layer styles you can apply to it. You got some pretty crazy ones when you go down here. They don't all look good on everything, but um, some of them are some pretty neat ones. And that's how you can use the 3D capabilities in Photoshop CS5 Extended.